Thank you for joining me here on The Escapades, a show dedicated to bringing you some of the rarest and most obscure games on Nintendo DS. I am so excited we have something so special in this episode. Two weeks ago, a The Escapades viewer, who has requested to remain anonymous, messaged me, saying that he believes he has just bought a demo cartridge of an unreleased Duke Nukem game. He sent me screenshots from the eBay listing, complete with pictures and descriptions of the item. At first I was skeptical. I thought he was mistaken because Duke Nukem had a game released on the DS called Critical Mass. But he said no, this demo is of a first person shooter and Duke Nukem Critical Mass is a side scrolling run and gun, like Contra. I took a closer look at the pictures in the eBay listing and my jaw dropped. This was a totally different game than Critical Mass. If this eBay listing was accurate, our DSCapades viewer just bought a DS game that may have been lost to time, completely unseen by the general public. At this point, it's like, we have a higher calling. We have to share this with the world, for the sake of video game preservation. I told our DSCapades viewer, I said, you gotta let me do a video on this. And he agreed. About an hour later, he said his friend Jason, aka Metal Jesus, was asking if he could do a video on it. And I was like, no way, this is for the DS. This is DSCapades territory. Metal Jesus, he'll be fine. He's got tons of connections. He's been around the video games for many years. He'll find another unreleased game to make a video out of. And Metal Jesus, if you're watching, have me on your show. I'd love to come and talk about some rare DS games that nobody's ever heard of. Here, I'll give you the first one for free. Little Bears. Nobody, even people who collect DS games don't know this exists. It isn't a hidden gem, it's just hidden. So now I'm wearing my investigator's hat. I have to dig deep and find out as much info as I possibly can about this thing. I must solve the mystery of the unknown prototype. I scoured the internet and could not find a single trace of it. No footage on YouTube, no mention of it in the Nintendo Age forums, nothing on Twitter or Facebook. Yahoo Answers was absolutely no help. So I went back to the eBay listing and noticed the logo of the software company Apogee and discovered that they were the same company that made Critical Mass. Maybe this prototype was an earlier incarnation of Critical Mass. I did some digging and found an interview with the founder and COO of Apogee Software, Terry Nagy, at the 2008 Computer Fair. In the interview, Terry says that three Duke Nukem games would be released on the Nintendo DS and Sony PSP, called the Duke Nukem Trilogy. In front of exploding graphics and moving logos but no gameplay, Nagy said Critical Mass is set to be released in 2009 and that two additional games, Chain Reaction and Proving Grounds, would be released shortly thereafter. In reality, Critical Mass would never get a PSP release and wouldn't be released on DS until 2011, while Chain Reaction and Proving Grounds wouldn't ever be released for any system. If the prototype cartridge from the eBay listing wasn't an early version of Critical Mass, could it have been from the two unreleased games planned for the DS? Later in the 2009 interview, Nagy describes these games, saying Chain Reaction picks up right where Critical Mass leaves off. As for part three of the series, I'll let him describe it in his own words. I'm really excited about Proving Grounds because we're going to make Duke Nukem the Forrest Gump of World War II. So it's, you know, it's really Duke that's responsible for the sinking of the Bismarck, and it's really Duke that's responsible for raising the flag over Iwo Jima. And, uh... Yes, you heard that right. Duke Nukem was set to be the Forrest Gump of World War II. All right, Gump Nukem crossover. Now you're speaking my language. My mom always said, Life is like a box of ammo. You never know what you're going to do. Blow it out your ass. After watching the interview, I reached out to Nagy and was able to ask him a few questions. First, I asked if Critical Mass was originally planned as an FPS. He said the only part of Critical Mass that was changed during development was the jetpack parts of the game. Originally, Duke was going to land on some buildings and go to a third-person cover-style game mode. Sadly, while the developers said they could do it, in the end, they couldn't. I showed him the pictures from the listing on eBay and asked if it could be a prototype of another game in the Duke Nukem trilogy, possibly Chain Reaction. He responded by saying that he owns the only prototype cartridge of that game. I asked him if he could confirm that this prototype was something that his company had worked on, as the Apogee logo appears on the title screen. He responded, The Chain Reaction prototype game didn't have any of this stuff. This is a very early build, after agreements were signed. Nagy then stated he would be happy to answer questions about released product, but did not want to comment on unreleased games. So we now have confirmation that this demo is authentic, and it is from an earlier Duke Nukem project, completely separate from Critical Mass and the other unreleased Duke Nukem Trilogy games. So that's really cool. At this point, our Deescapades viewer had received the cartridge in the mail and began sending me short clips of gameplay. He says the game is much more than a demo. It has 28 levels and takes about an hour and a half to beat. But if I'm gonna make an episode out of this, I'm gonna need some higher quality footage. Which brings us to our next problem. The dev cart and its owner live out in the West Coast. A friend of mine offered to lend us his modded 3DS with capture card so we could use it to record high def footage. 
but didn't really want to risk mailing it back and forth across the United States. I'd be happy to just buy a plane ticket and record the footage myself, but we're in a pandemic, and I'd hate for the Duke Nukem DS game to be blamed for the spread of a deadly disease. So I gave the cart's owner some tips on filming game footage with a camera, in the form of this hastily made tutorial video, and he was able to record some fairly decent footage with his iPhone 8. In the end, what worked best for him was taping N64 games to the back of his DS for stability, then taping it all to a table to prevent movement. After filming some levels, he emailed me the footage of him playing for me to edit and put into this video. He plans on getting the ROM dumped ASAP, but until then, this footage will have to do. I'll be providing commentary, but if you want to see it without commentary, I'll provide a link in the description below. So here it is, the unreleased, never-before-seen prototype of Duke Nukem DS. I usually like to review DS games, you know, offer some critical analysis, but I feel like it would be unfair to critique this unfinished game that was never released to the public. So instead, I'll be commenting on the experience of the game, not necessarily the game itself. Probably the most surprising thing about this is there's actually a multiplayer mode in here. Playable characters are Duke Nukem, of course, looking like he's starting forward on the Albed Sykes. Pig Cop, isn't that a bit redundant? <laughs> Look at his nose! We have Assault Trooper. Who would even want to be a character other than Duke Nukem? He's iconic. He's got those one-liners. This pink alligator guy is the Enforcer, clearly not enforcing any pants-wearing laws. Alright, so right off the bat we got some voice acting Duke Nukem quotes. I'm not sure if this is the real John St. John, or if these clips were used in another game, maybe Duke Nukem 3D. I mean, they could have just got a theater major to come in and impersonate John St. John for like a tenth the cost. I mean, I'll do it for ten bucks. Here. Bowels of steel. I have bowels of steel. So there's four main weapons that Duke can use. Pistol, shotgun, RPG, and pipe bombs. Of course, you can always kick if you want. Pretty basic level design, simple map, not too much detail on the buildings. You can see the repeating patterns of the lit windows on the buildings. Yeah, so this game kind of reminds me of Duke Nukem 3D, but it's definitely its own thing. Like, I recognize these pig cops from Duke Nukem 3D, but I'm not really up on my Duke Nukem lore. But I imagine the pig cops are like the Goombas of the Duke Nukem universe, just kinda always hanging out near level 1. So for every level, in order to proceed to the next stage, you need to find the keycard, and usually you get the keycard by just killing all of the enemies on the level. Alright, we got the keycard. The pipe bomb is pretty much a grenade that you can detonate from a distance. It's good for trapping your enemies, or hitting a big cluster of them. Ah, watch out for the turret there. Yeah, kind of surprising. So here we are at this bar, Bell Ami. You know, I usually don't go to bars very often, but you gotta support local pigman based businesses. You know, it's very important for their community. You should probably equip the RPG before entering this establishment. Ah, this is the brightest strip club I've ever seen. No wonder why Duke Nukem is always wearing sunglasses. Wait, go back. Did that pigman just walk through that bar? I think the game developers have yet to put in colliders and some of the objects on the level, so you can just walk right through them. Yeah, something's off about this strip club. I'm getting more of a Ramada in conference room type of vibe from it. And no chairs at this strip club, you know, just, you guys gotta stand. Just, just stay, just hover. What dance moves are those? Jeez. Looks like she went to the Elaine Bennis Dancing Academy. You know, maybe if the strip club DJ put some music on, she'd be able to dance a little better. You know, I don't want to get sued, so I'll put on some music, but it's got to be public domain.
level. All right, this is the secret passageway into the depths below. You know what this game needs? More pig cops. When you recover health, Duke exerts his sound of satisfaction. I have to point out how few steps Duke Nukem takes while going up and down the stairs. He just skips so many of them. It's like one, two, three, four steps. He's already up the stairs. Man, we are just flying through this cloister of trials. Key card obtained, and that was a very quick level. Next we have Inside the Zeppelin. Make your way to the command center. Wait, is this Zeppelin in the air right now? Is this a hydrogen Zeppelin? Maybe we shouldn't be shooting guns. Alright, the enemies on this stage are these pink crocodile guys, the, uh, the enforcers. If these crocodile guys had like one-liners like Duke Nukem, they'd be like, Blow it out your cloaca! I can't help but notice how inefficiently these shipping containers are spread out. It's like, come on, what's your overhead on this project, man? These levels are so boring. I've run out of things to say about them. You just shoot the enemy, get a key card, go to the next level. This level has a real Tony Hawk Pro Skater kind of feel to it. It's like the foundry, the factory, the Zeppelin. I want to bust out a 720 McTwist right about now. Ah, the floors light up. That's, that's a nice touch. Next level is the dungeon, further into the depths. Damn, I'm good. Come on, Duke. It's the start of a level. At least wait till the end to pat yourself on the back. Oh, what what enemies are these? They're like floating, spinning guys. I I think most Duke Nukem games, you Duke Nukem fights aliens, so these must be the aliens. Just watching these enemies spin around is making me queasy, ugh. Okay, key card obtained. This, this level seems fairly detailed, you know, unique enemies in this one. The door looks interesting. Alright, this level is the reception room. You nailed those aliens, now it's time to kick more butt. What is this, a reception room for a used Nissan dealership? At least the couches look comfy. Biohazard symbol on the door, that that can't be good. Wait, what was that? Go back. You must gigot amoroid to exit. No, you must gigot amoroid to exit, mister. I believe the technical term for this type of glitch is a race condition. The text on the screen is from two different messages. Get ammo and you must get keycard to exit. Both were displayed at the same time instead of one after the other. Oh, we got another dancer dancing on the desk. I know I said this didn't have very good level design, but for God's sakes, this level is just a room. What kind of business is this? There's a dancer on a desk, there's a biohazard symbol on the door. The sign says, Zep X Incorporated. Happy birthday. Aw, you guys remembered! Aw! Thank you so much. You guys are the best co-workers. This is so great. You pig cops sure know how to party. You even bought a stripper? Actually, that's just Stephanie from marketing. She got a little too drunk at the birthday party. If you're wondering what's going down on the bottom screen, not much. Shows your weapon, armor, ammo, and health. There's a bunch of levels we just don't have time for, like this one in the parking lot where you get to shoot these battle bot guys. There is some jetpack propulsion parts of the game um, where you can lift off. In the bottom left corner, you can see the fuel. There's also a level in a cavern. 
It's like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Pork. Still very short and linear levels, even towards the end of the game. I honestly have no idea what these enemies are. I don't know, are they like robots or... I, I don't know. Then there's this lava level, which I think looks the coolest out of everything. But this rope bridge is like super glitchy. Duke keeps falling down. Oh nice, that's a great voice clip. Yep, early, early development on this one. Well, that's all the usable footage we have right now. We saw only 6 levels out of 28, and I purposely left out the ending. So that's where our journey ends. Or at least it would have, if I hadn't super glued my investigator hat to my scalp. I had become obsessed. I just had to know what this cartridge was from. Why was it never released? Why did Critical Mass and its 29% Metacritic score get released on DS, but this game, what seems to be at least a functional first-person shooter, didn't? This game has 28 levels, an ending, even a multiplayer mode. That's a lot of work to be put into a game that never got released. It just makes no sense. After seeing the game footage, I noticed another company's logo appears on the title screen, Machine Works Northwest. So I went over to their website and took a look at some of their released games. Machine Works Northwest seems to develop games specifically for mobile devices. They have some hunting games, a Stargate SG-1 game, Duke Nukem 3D, definitely not the one we just saw, another Duke Nukem 3D with more pixelated graphics, something called Duke Nukem 2 Bikini Project, but no Duke Nukem DS. I reached out to someone from Machine Works Northwest, asking if they could answer a few questions for my video, but as of filming this, I have not heard back from them. I kept searching and searching, until I came across Machine Works Northwest's old website. That's right, look at this thing. It makes GeoCities look like Geo Villages. The latest news headline is from 2013, and it goes all the way back to 2002. And these are just headlines, not links. You click on them and they don't take you anywhere. If we go back all the way to October 10th, 2004, the headline claims, Machine Works is now an official Nintendo DS developer. Alright, that's something. Got a lead. So I checked out some of the releases on the old site. Under PC category, it's a dead link. But under PDA, there's some Doom games and a Duke Nukem game for Tapwave. Yes, Tapwave Zodiac. If you don't know the Tapwave Zodiac, it's a failed handheld system manufactured by Tapwave, an electronics company that doesn't have a blue link on Wikipedia. Basically, the Tapwave Zodiac is what you get when a PDA f**ks a Nokia N-Gage. It's like if a Wonder Swan fell down the stairs and suffered a traumatic brain injury. It's like if a Tamagotchi gave a Tiger handheld HPV and then the Soldier Boy console stole its identity so it could buy Club Penguin points. That's what a Tapwave Zodiac is. So I looked up Duke Nukem Tapwave Zodiac on YouTube, and oh my god, this is our game. Finally, we figured it out. Our demo cartridge is of a port of Duke Nukem Mobile for Tapwave Zodiac released in May 2004. Not to be confused with the side-scrolling shooter of the same name released in January 2004 by Machine Works Northwest for all of these phones. Boy, that sure is a weird way to spell iPhone. The Tapwave Zodiac version of Duke Nukem Mobile was then ported to those same phones with an additional 7 levels and multiplayer mode in 2007. Since our dev cart has those same 7 extra levels and a multiplayer mode, I think it's safe to assume that this prototype is from around 2007. I tried to gather as much information as I could about Duke Nukem Mobile for Tapwave, and while doing so, I didn't come across any references to a cancelled DS port, so I'm fairly certain that we here at DSCapades discovered this little nugget of video game history. Well, we solved most of the mystery. We still don't know why this project didn't move forward on a release for Nintendo DS, or even on a release on the DS iShop. But at least we understand why it was never used for part of the ill-fated Duke Nukem trilogy. I guess the only other question is, how did it end up on eBay? Well, our DSCapades viewer did mention that the eBay seller was from Oregon, and Machine Works Northwest, could it possibly be from, yep, headquartered in Salem, Oregon. So who knows, maybe an employee took it home, employee had a garage sale, donated it to Goodwill, I don't know, but somehow ended up floating around Oregon.
that pretty much does it for us here at De Escapades. Thank you so much for joining me. Please check out my Twitter at De Escapades for more DS nonsense and craziness. I hope you enjoyed our journey into the realm of unreleased DS games as much as I did. And we'll see you next time here on De Escapades. <laughs>